my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed project and today we are going to be doing a little butchery masterclass and what we're going to be using is this fantastic whole shoulder of lamb from my local butchers now shoulder of lamb one of the tastiest cuts you can get I wouldn't give you tuppence for the roast leg that everybody says oh roast leg of lamb this is where the flavour is especially done on the bone Obviously you've got all that fat, it renders out. You haven't got to eat it, but you need it to cook it. Trust me, this is a stunning joint. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bone it out, we're gonna stuff it, and we are gonna make a truly spectacular cushion of lamb. Cushion, pillow, you say tomato, I say tomato. Either way, we're gonna do this. So first thing I'm gonna do then, obviously as you can see it's whole as it would come from your butchers, this neck fillet got a natural seam we don't need that that is the ultimate cut of lamb for curries tagines stir fries that now I've taken that off becomes a seriously expensive cut of meat I'm just going to trim that up she use that later stews like I said whatever cracking next I'm going to take off this shank or hock whatever you want to call it there is like a natural if I could show you there, just follow it with your knife and then if I can get this on the camera for you guys, flip it over, put my knife in, just take that hock off. Now, the trick to this is we want to keep everything intact. If you can hear the bone there, there is not a lot of skin there. So that's the piece we got to watch because obviously this is the presentation side. So we don't want no holes in it. We don't want no stuffing to come out. So what I'm going to do is just quickly strip back naturally this flap of meat and in, while we're doing that we can trim any extra fat we don't want in there so just peel that back gently you can see there's a lump of fat there and then this is the blade bone so go either side Taking your time, just exposing it. Just trace your knife along. And like I said, we've got to be careful. I'll tell you what, it's really hard doing it this way around for you guys. And then just get our knife right under this bone and we're going to release it from that ball joint Have a bit of luck get our finger under pull there you have a nice clean bone next we're just going to tunnel bone this bone out by just tracing the bone same with the other side this really is a stunning stunning cut of meat and you all understand why when we start to stuff it and tie it it looks amazing when you bring it to the table. Just getting round that bone. Taking our time, lifting it, cutting it. God, it's never took me so long to bone a shoulder alone. Should come out in one piece. Right. Whew. 
Now, what we're going to do is just check over this. Like I said, you need some fat on this. So we're just going to have a quick look. There's some on that neck there, but just trim a little bit off. And that forms the basis of our cushion of lamb. Right, I should go and get my stuff in. So, we've got our shoulder boned out. All I'm gonna do quickly is bone out this little shank. And I will put that back in to the shoulder. Great way to learn to bone things out these. Pretty straightforward. Just follow the bone. There you are, decent lump of meat. Right, let's stuff this. Now, you can use any stuffing you want. You can make your own. I made this myself. It was easy. What I did, I opened up the packet, added some hot water, and Bob's your uncle, we got stuffing. Cool, easy as. But you can make your own if you want to, you know, with breadcrumbs, sausage meat, some sweated down onions, some fresh sage, some thyme, some salt and pepper, and you're away. But I've cheated. Never mind. Let's do it. So, my stuffing. I'm just going to take a little ball and I'm going to put it where that bone was. Now, don't overstuff this. So you could get your butcher to do this part, obviously bone it out. And you can do the rest at home. I'm just going to replace that meat back in there. Put that flap over. And that's filled that out nicely now. So what I'm going to do, turn it over and just give it a rough shape. Just take your time and then we are going to start tying this. So with my twine, let's get that so you can see. So you can see roughly it's looking lovely. So, we go over one, but not too tight this one, because obviously it will take the tension of the others, so just a holding knot, turn it 45 degrees, put one over the top. This time, we can put a little bit of pressure on, Tie it off, and then we go 45 degrees again. I think you can see where this is going. Just gently putting some pressure on, tie it off. Then we complete tying with one across that way. Now, that's your basic lamb cushion. Just have a look at that. Hey, beautiful. But we don't stop there. What we're going to do. With our needle, thread it through, plane going over, noisy, where that middle is, straight through to that one, loosen it off, retract, pull it through. We re-thread re that needle, and you'll see what I'm doing in a moment. So over the all of those strings, straight down the middle, and out the back. There we have 
our two strings. So what we want to do, our butcher's knot. I shall put a link, if you look in the comments you'll see the link for the butcher's knot. Just gently pull it so it ruches up and then one handed he says, tie that off. And it's starting to look pretty cool. Now just to finish it off, you put one round the whole lot. So that cracking butcher's slip knot again. Tie it off. All we do is give it a fettle. And there you have one stuffed cushion of lamb. How cool is that? So there you have it my friends. How to make a cracking, cracking cushion of lamb. You've got to admit that looks good. Imagine taking that slow roasted to the table, cut into it almost like a cake. It'll blow you away. So we're going to do just put it in our little tray. Get a little bit of chefy with it. So uh, just add a sprig of parsley. You could scatter some dried herbs over there, some thyme, some mint. But there you have it. How to make a cushion of lamb. So just before I go then, if you wanted to cook this, preheat your oven to the highest temperature. When it's preheated, put it in that high temperature oven for 20 minutes. Turn it down to gas mark 4, if you look up there for the conversion, and cook it for 35 minutes a pound. And trust me, when that comes out, you'll be thanking me. So it just remains for me to say then, thanks for watching this episode. Please like it, share it with your friends, spread the word, subscribe by clicking down there somewhere. Follow me on Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. Find me on Facebook. Right, I'm afraid I'm not going to cook this one for you. You're going to have to go and do it yourselves. I'll see you again. Take care.